Hey, what's going on, guys? Quick video. I want to show you guys my Warzone settings, the best uh, PC settings. Console guys, sorry, there's not much there for you guys except for field of view. Exactly what it means. How much you can see, how much in the field of view you can see. So you want to generally get the most. I play at 120. I know a lot of people play that play at 110, 100. Console, you were at 80 with the update. They allow you to go up. Pick what works for you over there, okay? Pretty much the only setting that you really want to mess around with over there, with the exception of uh, brightness. I put my brightness at 60 just the way it is like on the screen that works for me and you're going to see why because when we do the nvidia filters that's where we're going to really make the changes not over here so 60 over here is over there okay i record i make youtube content call of duty i have a dual screen setup that's why i run full screen borderless that does give you a slight little fps here but i need to be able to get my mouse over to the other screen if i got to touch something that i can't do on the stream deck but if you're not doing a streaming or recording or anything like that then you want to keep this on full screen you'll get your best performance there i have a 2k monitor and it maxes out at 144 hertz that's where i leave it at my render resolution stays at 100 i obviously have a 3090 uh a founder's edition that i played paid a pretty penny for all right so my frame rate i max it out at what my monitor can handle 144 in the menu screen it drops down to 60 so that way my cpu has a, i mean my gpu has a chance to cool off when it's not in game i leave it at 60 that is fine so just give it a break out of focus that 30 is like now if i do hit that other screen then it's going to drop the the fps on the main screen to 30 not putting the burden on the gpu that's all that is nvidia highlights off you want to keep this enabled it'll keep the clock speed higher and you'll get better performance and better latency if we don't touch that streaming quality i leave high texture high 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 on all enabled i know some people turn it off i leave it enabled those are the settings that i use to get try to get the best visual look of the game so when i make a video that way it looks nice you could obviously alter these a little bit based off of what you know gpu you're running but uh that's what i have shadow map resolution i keep it normal a lot of people put it on low they turn this off off they they turn all of this off i leave those on a little bit just to try to get a little bit or a better picture but uh, i try to leave the settings pretty low because they don't make much of a difference you could put this on ultra you know extra and you're not going to see much of a visual difference to be honest with you turning all these off filmic strength zero nvidia guys we finally got dlss on warzone you had it on black ops now you got it on warzone too and it makes a big difference like if i pulled out my heartbeat sensor while i'm recording or streaming it would take my fps from 144 and drop it to 120 now with DLSS, it maintains that 144 the entire game. It is so rare for it to drop below that. It is awesome. If you start going above to like Ultra and some of the other ones, diminishing returns, you start losing a little bit of something. I could put this on quality. That's what they do recommend for uh, 2K gaming. It, 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 it's uh, it's uh, you know preference. You try it out, see what best works for your Nvidia card. I have a 3090, so I don't really notice much of a difference over there. Depth of field, I keep off. Motion blur off. Weapon blur off. Filament grain, you want to keep that zero. And that's pretty much it. Simple. There's nothing complicated to it. At the end of the day, your performance is going to be based off of what you have in your computer. I have a 5950 with 64 gigs of ballistics, crucial, max gaming, you know, 4400 hertz, cast, eight. Like, I spent money on the rig so at the end of the day that's what it's going to come so if you have a, a a moderate gaming rig then you want to adjust these a little bit better to to work best for you okay now let's jump in on the games because in the video filters is what we're here for and that's when you're going to notice a big difference all right guys this is how the game normally looks no filters no nothing this is it right here you see kind of hazy kind of dark really can't see too much you know there's definitely some dark areas you'll have a roll skin hiding from here <laughs> you know even with the update all right now let me show you what it looks like with the filters on guys look at this difference okay let me show you this look at this bro look at this difference you see the difference i mean i, I hope so big big difference here i turn it off on now to get this to look good it's gonna all be based off of your eyes and your monitor screen okay so there's plenty of videos online so before you you know you question why you watch my video over someone else i'm gonna show you why because everyone's trying to tell you to use their settings you don't have to you're gonna use your settings i'm gonna show you how to make your settings add brightness and contrast add details add color and you want to add it in that order 
And just from that alone, look at this. Off, on. How nice does that look? Just from it alone, standard. You didn't edit anything, look. Off, on. And then look at it compared to mine. Not much difference, right? Not much difference. So when you go to brightness and contrast, I don't mess with much over here. Shadow stay negative 100, zero. Contrast, I keep at five. You could edit the contrast a little bit if you did, if you didn't want it to be like that, you see? You know, if you didn't want it to be so hazy, you could bring the contrast up a little bit. So I make multiple profiles, one with a higher contrast. So when I'm trying to get, you know, pictures of the gun, you know, I'll use it like this, a little bit higher contrast. So, cause it gets a little bit more detail out of the gun. It doesn't look as grayed out. But for now, I'll show you what, it, what it'll be like. So I keep it around 30 right there. That's it, I don't touch nothing else there. Details, details, sharpening. Look what happens to the image. Obviously it makes it a little sharper. So I don't mess with that one too much either. I keep it at 50. Clarity is about 39 ish. Once again, that takes a little bit of the blur out the, the game. So you don't want it too high. You want it too low. You want to just pick a decent spot. I think around in the 50, 60 looks good. HDR toning. This is another one. Let me show you the difference when you put this on. Look at the, uh, the colors and the, the lighting, the shadows. Put HDR on, you'll start seeing more. So you don't want to blow it out too much. Pick a decent number. Pick a spot that works for you for, for your screen. So on my screen right there, the about 40 is a good spot. 40, 50, I like. Um, I have messed around and put it on 60, but uh, I'm happy around this number, okay? So let me bump it up just a little bit to 50. Bloom, don't mess with this. Keep the zero. You see it washes out the screen. We don't mess with that too much, okay? Oh, at all. Color. Some people do put 10 of 10 and uh, intensity. I don't mess with none of that. I don't mess with the temperature. All I do is I add vibrancy. So as you can see, vibrancy adds the color into this. So you could put a lot of color. You could put a little color. I like 60. I think it's a good balance. I think 60 is a good balance. And even then 60 is a little bit too much color. You could bring it down a little bit to 50 and you'd be at a good, happy spot. And that's it. Once you do that, that's it. Let me show you a couple of dark spots. All right. This room's not that dark. There's a little bit of light on top of the screen, but look at the difference when we put our filter back on. Off, on. All right. So this is going to make a huge difference in your overall quality in the game. Give it a shot, guys. Uh, if this tutorial was helpful, please give it a share. Let some people know, especially if they're on PC and they have NVIDIA. Help them out with their settings. Help them out with this filter. It's going to make playing the game so much more enjoyable, pleasurable. And if those of you who make content creation, this is also dope. I'll show you another thing real quickly. For those of you who do make content, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. All right. So I know the screen looks a little funny, but when you're doing uh, NVIDIA filters, you get the little flickering and stuff when you're recording in OBS. This is how you alleviate that problem. You see, you got game capture right here. Open up game capture. You want. You see this attempt to fix synchronization with DirectX 12. Make sure you check that box and that will fix the problem right there. All right. Super simple. You want to use the filters, put this bad boy on and you're good to go. Okay. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy share with somebody. I catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have fun and enjoy guys.